It is uh, Draylian here, back with another Minecraft map. And today we are playing a parkour map called Wizzy. Wizzy was created by Mr. Igum. And you might remember Mr. Igum from the Only Monkey map. So, yeah, uh, the, they recently created this Minecraft map. It's a parkour map. Uh, it's a complicated parkour map. You need to be patient and focused to have the best time. Are you going to beat it? Well, we're definitely gonna try. So, I have it right here. I don't know what the rules are, but we're just gonna go in, I guess. We have jump boost. We have hook up. Uh, Mr. I gum. You can stick to change. Chains. Okay. That's pretty cool. Okay, that's jump boost. And I got a feeling red carpet is death. We can test it out. Yeah. Alright, so... Alright, that's fine. Levitation. We're done levitating. We have this golden block, which is probably a checkpoint. I'm not 100% sure. Where are we going? This way. All right. Isn't honey like really difficult to jump off? Yes, yes it is. Um, this way. All right. So I don't know if we officially started yet because we didn't get a countdown or timer, but it's kind of cool. There we go. This must be another checkpoint. Invisible blocks. Okay. Okay, this doesn't kill us, which is nice. And then we go in here. Ah, we go up. Of course. We go back. Wow. And then... Wait, is this right? It looks right. It's supposed to be complicated, so... That it definitely is. But we have another checkpoint. I do have a feeling that we're going the right way. Maybe. Hey, we have an audience, sort of. What? Of course. Wait, what? Okay, I don't know what's happening, but it's definitely confusing me, which is fine. Uh, I could not go there. Okay, so no waiting around, just go. I shot that! I even got the arrow back! You saw it, I saw it. But apparently it didn't count. You know what, that's fine. But this time it did. And it's back, nice. Alright, so we definitely would like this checkpoint. 
Speed boost, eh? Alright. So do you want me to go in here? That's fine by me. Okay, that was a nasty, sneaky little bop to my head. That's fine. We're going in again. To be honest, I don't know how long this one will be, but it's fine for now. Because <laughs> I say it's fine and then eventually I'll be here for like hours and hours, but it's fine. That's what parkour is for, right? Oh, this is going to be one walk of shame if I screw this one up. It's not even that difficult, it's just screwing it up puts you back enormously. Oh, there is a checkpoint, so I will gladly take that. So now I can just free roam and a little bit of hopping and derping around because if I screw it up, I at least had a checkpoint. Now we're already halfway, so I actually need to be a little bit more careful. Because if I free roam here, I might as well just jump off and touch the red. But we won't, we won't. No, we're doing uh, pretty well, if I say so myself. But we're not there yet. We've gotten our second intermediate point uh, stop I don't know what you want to call it but it's definitely not a checkpoint and there won't be one for a while can I I can oh crap I misjudged that completely I saw it and I was like nope that's going to hit me back to the start but that's fine that's why we're here to do it over. Sometimes you just have to do some things in life over. So why wouldn't you with parkour? All right, so basically we're at the point where we were-ish. Okay, we were at this point. And we're doing it again. Completely fine. I just need to focus. I died like here, and there is indeed a checkpoint there. So I just screwed up. I screwed up at the end before we get our next checkpoint, which is totally fine. You know, it happens to the best of us and to the worst as well. <laughs> so we're here once again. This time I'm making sure that I actually jump in between. All right, so I went for that, which is obviously the wrong choice. Now that I see it. Okay, that's sort of cheating, but I'll take it. It's there, so why wouldn't I use it? That's not going to make it. That's not even sprinting. Yeah, I thought like I could go in like one turn, but apparently I couldn't. But that's f oh, that's sneaky. We can go up, but the problem is I cannot because I was stuck. But we solved it. We go left, I assume. Okay, which is totally fine. It's still totally fine. I stopped there, but apparently not. Like that, that's what I wanted to do. Now we go up, up please. Thank you very much for playing my game. Now we just go once again. 
we do see the finish line, but that doesn't mean we're actually close because there is a part we haven't even touched yet, I believe. Or maybe it is the finish and I just skipped a lot of the parkour. Can you actually walk on these? Wow. Honestly, I didn't even know that. I don't use those. How is that the finish? Very creative, but I didn't do this part. I did do that part. I didn't touch these. How was I supposed to get here? Is there a faster way? I don't think there is. No, right? No, definitely not. But what we can do is because I'm in creative, we can try to do it as fast as possible from the start, which is here. Um, and we'll try the same path, I guess. There's the audience, by the way, quite cool. It's a fun little map. It's a neat little map. I'll make it even more of a challenge. I will remove my hotbar and arm. So I don't know where to stop running because you can usually see your arm. So, all right, I will start. Let's go. See how difficult it is without the arm. So now you have to actually do it kind of on instinct. Which is okay because we're still here and we don't die. Never mind. Can I just? All right, I'll just do it like this then. Uh, up. So we're gonna try and do it again, but this time without the arm. It's not specifically a time run. Because I know I'm not the fastest, but I do know that without the arm, it would be significantly more difficult for me, at least, to come to finish it. There we. Oh, there actually is a chain. I didn't even notice that. I just did it without. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's kind of funny. Noticing the chain on the second run. All right. Oh, that's the wrong way. Of course. I should have known that this particle trail, it's kind of funny. Okay, well, let's just keep it at safe by the leaf. So this was indeed the correct way. That's interesting to know because you would have expected it to do something else, but if there is barriers, then I must be on the right track. Right? If there's barriers, I must be on the right track. Ooh, shooting without the arm will be quite difficult, but I can do that, I hope. I shot it. I shot it without the arm and it didn't count. Really? Do I have to center it or something? That will be pretty difficult without the bow. Well, without the vision at least. Okay, I need to aim a little higher. So, well, we're trying this one. Go, go, go. Okay, I need to aim a little higher and a little longer but it's definitely not impossible it's definitely not impossible I don't think I will be making it no it didn't trigger the first time you guys see me shoot it I just don't know how picky it is and without the arm or the cursor 
it's pretty difficult to hit it. You, you know, you know, I hit that, right? Usually the target hitting means the whole target, but apparently this one doesn't always count. But this is it. We did it. Somehow we managed to pass it and we're on to another checkpoint. And that means we're going to the underground. So we're already like halfway-ish. I remember that leaf. All right, so halfway-ish. Cool. No. See, I'm going too fast now because I'm trying to do it better than I did with the other one. And I'm also just trying to be like trying to beat it without the arm, but also sort of trying it faster, which will basically be my bad juju. Because if I get too confident in my ability, I will make mistakes. You all know this. If you've watched my older videos, sorry, I just tried to focus here and I know I skipped the jump, that's totally legal. If it's in the map, it's in the map, which is not my problem. And that's of course also a thing that can happen. Just slip off a block. I usually use the arm to like locate my position of the block, which I cannot do now because it's not there. I turn it off. And there's a block there that I didn't notice because I hit something and I will look at that block in just a second. Ah, it's that one. Good to know, good to know. Good to know. We're just rolling, cruising and going, but there is no checkpoint yet. That's at the next corner. And that also means that if I screw this one up, I have to go a long way back and I forgot that I had to go up there. Like I was saying, you could see this as frustration, but it doesn't actually have to be frustration because it's not the game's fault it's created this way. It's the game maker who did this and I'm definitely hitting this. There we go. So we're here once again. Okay, that's fine. We had a checkpoint. We literally just had a checkpoint. That's going to be a difficult jump uh, without the arm. I say while making it, but we're not there yet. We're not in the clear yet. There is more to do before we have a checkpoint. I knew something like that was gonna happen. So we'll be here with a few more difficult jumps, a little bit longer, which is still fine. That's why we tried it. We're just going up. But to be fair, we're pretty close for this map. I don't want to say that I'm done, but it's the stretch of the map because we actually have the end inside. Because this is our last checkpoint and this is the last stretch. There we go, we made it. We did it once more. All right, I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, Leave it here for Wizzy. It was uh, interesting to figure out. It was it was something else. So um, yeah, uh, this was uh, Wizzy the parkour map. Um, I did it twice, once without the arm. It was a little bit frustration, but you know what? It's fine. So I hope you guys enjoyed. 
and I'll see you guys next time. Bye! Yeah, dudes, don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment down any ideas below.